happy Friday. Mm. I'm Kawi Lucas here. November 11th is the start of bashing in some places in the world, which means it's time to really cut loose and be as artistic as you possibly can. So in celebration of that, and in celebration of a really um, amazing feat in our town here, um, next week, Friday, the Saturday, the Saturday mm -hmm. sorry, the no November 19th, mm -hmm. downtown, there is going to be an amazing party. And that's what this team town needs right now really desperately a really good party <laughs> rich richardson who is the executive director of the arts at mark's garage um tell us about raising the roof all right thanks for having me i'm very excited i've got a lot of uh planning underway and um trucks are arriving uh product is being delivered Permits are being secured, insurance is being signed, we're getting all set for a great party. It's a gala, it's our 15th birthday party, it's on top of the roof, uh, right next door to Hawaii Theater, so if you can imagine looking over the downtown area, financial district on one, one side, you can even see a sliver of, of the harbor uh, if you squint <laughs> down Nu'uanu Avenue. Under the, the moon, the super moon this, this month is going to be yeah. amazing. Um, live music, food, drink, dance, performances, puppets, uh, sword fighting, um, you name it. It's going to be happening, uh, and it's not going to be able to, you're not, it's not going to be easy to figure out what's going to happen next, and things are going to overlap. So it's going to be very exciting, unexpected things happening. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you have quite a bit of experience as the um, executive director of Arts at Mark's Garage right. um, in putting on amazing events. I, I was looking at your website and yep. I saw 45,000 visitors a year. Yes. Wow. Yes, that's 150 huge, yeah. events. Wow. Mm -hmm. how, how does, how does, what does it take to get this going? Uh, a lot of flexibility, a lot of diplomacy, <laughs> a, a lot of uh, a desire for the parties to share the space, which is really a beautiful testament to human nature, I believe, and that uh, all of these uh, different mediums, different uh, artistic practices, um, viewers and participants, all can share the space so, so neatly without ever, hardly a ripple in, in our relations in that space. It's quite a magical spot, I have to say with all that shared equipment and, and uh, very valuable um, uh, artistic pieces and tools um, in the space at all times. There's hardly ever anything missing or, or, or um, awry. And um, tempers hardly ever flare. When anything, if anything's ever missing there, I, I immediately think of who might be the culprit and I'll, I'll find the missing piece under my own desk or something like that. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's a really magical spot. It's, it's been a, a, good, a, a good run. You yourself are an artist. I know that because I happen to have one of your pieces. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, hang on to it. It's rare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It has a colorful um, paper cocktail um, umbrellas. Wow, that goes way back. <laughs> it goes awesome. way back. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. It says, wishing I was here. Yeah. Thank you. That was a testament to the times. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you made the transition from being a, a practicing artist mm -hmm. to, I, are you still practicing art or creating well, it you in know, that sense? I, I um, s set it aside uh, to see if I could run this, this very complicated animal we call the Arts at Mark's Garage. There's 150 performances, you're right, but it's, but it's actually 300 events a year. So there's something going on all the time. Um, so the transitions, as smooth as they may be, um, require constant attention and kind of manipulation of the space and the characters involved. Um, it's a very, very busy place, and I'm afraid I haven't practiced art. I try to think of the activity of supporting the arts in this way as my, my contribution to the arts, so still... Um, it is a huge contribution. Being committed to the, to the arts in, in that yeah. way. Um, <clears throat> so that that's where I am at. I, I do does, uh, I, I do do better as a human being if I'm creating things on even on the side. I find myself being more um, creative in e even business decisions. Um, it it feeds a part of me that that um, uh, can often be neglected by the day to day 
uh, chores and to-do lists that we all have. Well, you, Marx has done um, amazing things for downtown. I mean, you've, you've really had staying power. I mean, you've mm -hmm. been there for 15 years, and a lot of places have risen and fallen in that, in that yeah, 15 years. Yeah, some, some, some big names. <laughs> years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, the community itself seems to have um, come, we've, there have been waves um, mm -hmm. up and down, but things like First Friday. Mm -hmm. I mean, Marx was instrumental in, in the creation of First Friday, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, we, we, uh, we helped with the first one. It was a, a big stretch. I was very skeptical. I thought, how are you going to get all these gallery people to, to coordinate, uh, you know, even, even this detail of an art opening? Turns out it was the best thing we, we've ever done uh, for the downtown area, I, I believe, yes. and yes. for the arts in general. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. Really putting us on the map and, and leading to a full-scale renaissance of the area, getting all those creative people looking at the space differently than it had been in the past and seeing potential there where it had been neglected and, and kind of a no-fly zone, if you will, for, <laughs> for uh, residents and, and visitors. And it's allowed it to keep its beautiful character with the historic buildings mm -hmm. and having that gorgeous mix of of innovation and creativity which allows mm -hmm. those older buildings to have a new life right. yeah which yeah. is so uh next saturday yes. night yeah. this saturday night so there you'll have one would have to get tickets to go to this event so let's yeah. talk about that a okay bit. so the tickets are available on our website or or on eventbrite but easy to click artsatmarks.com it's right on it's a big button on our on our, on our home page um the tickets are all inclusive so you get um a big experience of all kinds of different uh, disciplines, um, practicing artists that m most have a lot to do with Marx on a regular basis, but but some guest stars as well. And then we've got some great restaurants from the downtown area. Do you want to hear about those? Yes, I do want to hear about mm, okay. those. I've, I I I read them and I said, like, wow, I don't even I haven't even heard of this one. So so Grand Inn. I'm very excited about Grand Inn. They're they're. Um, Neighbor, they're, they're in the same building, the Mendonca building, that um, houses the Chinatown artist lofts upstairs. And they have this uh, really uh, interesting and creative uh, blend of French and Latin. Uh, and it's, it's a beautiful uh, experimental uh, presentation and taste that you've not, you can't find elsewhere. Really fantastic. Um, J.J. Dolan's... Um, um, JJ is uh, such a generous character in the the community of our downtown, and and also his food's terrific. And there's Pallet, which is uh, relatively new. Yeah, from that Bethel was Street. The one I don't know. They're right across uh, from Hoy Theater. So um, next time you get a chance, um, check them out. What used to be there? I'm sorry. Well, uh, do you remember? Uh, Duvan. Oh, uh, okay. Duvan, okay. 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 And, okay. and there's uh, another guy um, that's coming in. Uh, uh, I, th I hope they're open in time. Um, it's called Bethel Union, and they're in that exact uh, block as well. So a couple newbies and a, a couple um, uh, dependables uh, from the neighborhood, and we've got to round it off with some Andes Wines and uh, Kona Brewing Company. So it sounds like it's not all happening on the uh, Mark's Garage uh, site. Yeah, that, it's all up there. It's it is all, all that, up there. Yeah, okay. everything's... We've got uh, tents up there and high tops and a big stage and uh, roller derby happening and, like I say, sword oh, fighting. I read that roller derby. You've yeah. got to tell us a little more about that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think in a t an attempt to, to mimic the kind of uh, energy uh, and the overlapping um, interests and creative expressions, I, I, we've, we've put together kind of a program that's going to be busy and engaging and almost um, interactive in that you can stop by different stations really and see what pe what different people are doing at different times. So it's not a sit around the table kind of fundraiser, um, which has a purpose. This is a, this is a much more uh, active, it's almost like a walk around while you're eating and check different things out. And I saw Thank you. That kids under twelve are free with their parents. Yeah, I think that's the, that's, that's the way to go. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. The, the little ones deserve a little special treat too, and to see uh, life as the um, the shiny um, showcase it can be. 
And in the in the mix of things mm -hmm. that are happening, um, uh, you t you talked about um, that there's going to be a keynote speech. Now that isn't always <laughs> a part of a gala. Yes. <laughs> but right. neither is a roller derby. <laughs> right. Yes. So. <laughs> so so ta can you talk about that a little? What's well, hopefully the, the roller derby and the keynote speech will balance out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, to, to lend some seriousness to, to this idea of these guys have a place to show at Marks on a regular basis. Solomon Enos is an amazing public speaker. He is by no means a, a, a staid presentation guy. He, he's very, very engaging. Has a lot of exciting concepts to share. Yes. And is super energetic when he's, when he's delivering his version of... He was sitting there about a month ago. Oh my I know gosh. what so you, you know, mean. You know, so <laughs> what, a, what a great... A great um, Character and he's he's working right next door at Hawaii Theater, the, their first artist in residence. Um, so I've been seeing him around town and, and watching his work develop and and really enjoying um, his presentations. And Carl Powell is a fantastic uh, speaker as well. And 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 I, I think he's just at the a pinnacle of his creative output right now. Um, he's a he's a very skilled um, public speaker and he uses a persona. Um, so it's almost performance art. Oh. So don't expect the what you expect. Okay. Um, expect a little twist to it. So we'll deliver a very quick, bright, happy speech about their work or the, the status of, of artwork in general in our town or on our island. And we'll have a, a nice moderator there. The whole thing, the talks, will be like a TED Talk, but um, a little bit quicker with a, a outdoor the outdoors as your background. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there's um, uh, Carl is also in the current exhibit downstairs. Will that be available for viewing, or is that Makaha? That's yeah. a that's a, a his fourth show at the Arts at Marks, and it gets better and better. He adds one person each year, and uh, it's really nice to watch his development as an artist. And I enjoy his friendship as well, of course. But. Um, uh, yeah, Makaha is in the gallery uh, the whole month of November for Makahiki, and that's how he times his, his creative output. So people will be able to go downstairs and check and have a look at the gallery? Actually, we'll, we'll no. use uh, Arts at Marks. We'll, we'll ha take the entire show on the road and bring it up to the rooftop, and Carl wow. will be up there on a stage as well. Um, we're talking about a 16 by 20 foot stage with... Um, live music and Carl and DJ Mr. Nick and lots of things happening. And Taimani. And Taimani. That's mm. going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. She's our headliner this year, so I'm excited about that. But Makaha um, will be downstairs in the gallery for the entire month, so stop by when you can. And, and Carl's going to have some very large pieces um, behind the stage as a kind of sh uh, centerpiece. And um, the cost for the... I, I know the kids are free, but the adults are not. Um, yeah, it's eighty dollars. All the food and drink you can possibly enjoy, and entertainment that that uh, never happens all at once in any other place. Wow. Well, that's a very reasonable for for downtown Honolulu gala. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll take a little break and then mm -hmm. come back and talk some more. Thanks. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I host the show Center Stage on Think Tech Wednesdays at 2 p.m. And this is Crystal That's Quark. That's right. I'm Crystal, and I host Quark Talk on Tuesday mornings. <laughs> I like watching Donna's show. You do? <laughs> I like watching your show. I like watching your show because you talk about you're not afraid to really dive into issues that are important, and, and sometimes they're a little shocking. And you always bring us information that is sometimes the underbelly that we Ooh, need to know and we need to you. see. It's important. Well said. Well, I like yours because you can find any topic and any type of character, but you will find that source which brought them to the product of that creative process. And I thought that's like the most important thing is the process. Awesome. Right? I think, yeah, I do. I think it's all about the process. And I think we'll find world peace when we know each other's stories. So thank you very much for bringing that to us. Join thank us you. on Think Tech. <laughs> think Tech. Hawaii, anytime. <laughs> Welcome back to Hawaii is my mainland here on Think Tech Hawaii every Friday at 3. With me this week is Rich Richardson of the Arcs at Marks Garage. And we're talking about an awesome party that's going to happen next Saturday, the 19th, on the roof, which is, I think, the best place to have a party mm -hmm. in downtown. 
<laughs> yeah, we've never taken on such a big square footage before, but it's going to be fun. How big is it? Do you know? 100 cars. All right. 100, 100 cars, cars are out of there for the evening. <laughs> Thank you, Andy Friedlander, for, for lending us the space. Yeah. So the, um, let's talk about some of the um, uh, things, the music. So uh, there's my, uh, one of my favorite local bands you're having, mm -hmm. Good Food. Not mm -hmm. every local band has an MD. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that about them. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, or, or I guess she's a naturopathic doctor. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, and um, um, so Good Foot is playing, and you s mentioned a DJ. Mr. Nick. DJ Mr. Mr. Nick. Nick. Yeah. Yeah, oh, there's yeah. Good Foot. And mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Lori Kimata there. I love her. And. Um, uh, they're so much. Last time I saw them, they were playing in a in a, a on a farm in Pupukea. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. Um, so, and then Taimane. Mm -hmm. And is this the first time she's playing it in uh, Mark's Garage? Yeah, I think she's only warmed up at Mark's Garage in the past for her big shindig at Hawaii Theater, which did really well this this year, in fact. So, yeah, really excited that she's participating. In. She seems to be one of the artists that is really doing well at straddling the the past and the future and, mm -hmm. and being very creative in that. Yeah, I think so. And very uh, giving towards her, her community and, and really, I think, um, using Chinatown as a, as a springboard to b bigger projects and destinations, uh, but, but definitely benefiting from, from experimenting in Chinatown, which is what, what it's all about for us at Mark's Garage. And that is um, mm -hmm. this the beauty of the the space that mm -hmm. that you hold there for for local talent mm -hmm. to express itself um, without having to be super commercial so they can yeah. really let the creative juices flow um, i'm I'm trying to think of some of the um, uh, well um, there's another one yeah um, uh, watch out for him yeah who is that that's Jules Coffee, and he'll be doing a live painting probably just like that um, w while the music's going on and people are dancing around and um, watching out for sword fights and what have you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, speaking of uh, live painting, there's also another, um, uh, there's other live art happening too, right? Yes, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of live art, and our, uh, in fact, our... Um, uh, our culture, culture shaka, shaka. That's Justin. He'll be he'll be doing some live painting as well. He's a multimedia artist. That's going to show show off what he's doing. We've got a outdoor gallery upstairs. We've got um, wonderful artists dropping off works for sale uh, every day uh, this week and last week. So it's really nice to check in with people who have been playing a part and putting on exhibitions for for nearly 15 years. 15 years, and yeah. And I think they're, they're the reason that, that people have been attracted to Arts at Marks, is to see what they're, what they're up to, to try their own hand at making artwork, to get inspired with them and, and hang out in, in, the, in the realm of that energy where people are expressing themselves. And Speaking of mm -hmm. expressing ourselves, <laughs> <laughs> this is a, 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 your recent um, Rocky Horror um, showing yeah uh, yes it's a perfect venue for for rocky horror and, and rocky horror is aged quite well and the, the the kids like it and the parents come too so it's perfect <laughs> <laughs> and that's a it's a great example of um uh where um uh non-professionals can kind of let go in an artistic mm -hmm. way and have it be safe and fun and and a, a beautiful space for, for really being the unusual creative uh, town that we are. I, I think it's a great place for people to get a sense of uh, participation in the creative process and, and not, not uh, just come to look at something and walk away, um, but to actually get engaged. And the best thing that happens there, I think, is, is um, meeting someone that you don't know, that you wouldn't normally run into and sharing a, a moment um, at, at a performance or at a gallery opening or one of the many workshops that we do. I think that um, human connectivity in our space is, is really um, valuable for a sense of uh, well-being, a sense of belonging in, in our town, um, to create a kind of uh, common public area for public life 
um, that's not commercially driven, obviously, yes. right? Yes, yes. So, um, yeah, that, I think that's a, an important function of, of Arts at Marks, and that's why I like it so much. Arts is almost a, a side note to me sometimes. It's, it's, um, it's having a, a safe and fun place for people to enjoy life together and, and bump into each other. I'm sure a lot of people have met on First Friday and a lot of families have come out of that experience. You know, I, I, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Right? I'm sure of it. Yes, it's, it's, it's become sort of the heart of the artistic um, footprint in Chinatown, mm -hmm. I think. Um, um, I'm trying to, um, what, I, I just have to tell my favorite um, um, story of Arts of Mart's Garage. I mean, I've been to so many things over the years, but um, there was a film, sh uh, the, the Academy of Arts refused to show Alice Ann Parker's mm. um, film Near the Big Chakra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I remember that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Don Brown um, contacted you guys and you guys agreed and, and then the, the Academy at that point refused like two days before it was supposed oh, yeah. to show. So there it was. Yeah. The Arts of Mark's Garage made it possible for that, for that retrospective of her very avant-garde films, mm -hmm. although they were from the 70s, <laughs> right. to be shown. And there we were. It was the, the film that had um, 46 vulvas, I believe. And there was a guy um, about, it was packed, and about 10, 10 feet in front of me, mm -hmm. this man just keeled over. <laughs> he passed out. I remember that very well. Yeah, that was a golden moment. <laughs> May have been from the '70s, but it still had some some uh, shock power to it, didn't it? it was, yeah, 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 yeah. But it was it, quite a night. It mm -hmm. was, and so many things as you have have um, happened there. Workshops, um, mm -hmm. like um, for people to make art, right? And it's also a co-working space somehow. Yeah, we're we're co-working primarily um, uh, black box theater, about a hundred. 100 seats, and, and we've got the gallery that's about a thousand square feet. Um, so those are the three, the, the holy trinity. And, and then we also uh, launched uh, Artist Live Work at the Mandanka building, which is just about a block away. So we have Live Work spaces, 19 of those. So really focusing on, instead of um, selling artwork or selling tickets, we're really focused on building a scene, building a uh, community of people that get to appreciate the arts and, and build appreciation from the ground up um, through our events. And I think uh, we've been successful in transforming our neighborhood with that philosophy. It's, it's a scene. You're definitely a scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, what was that one? That was that, some sort of fire, fire dancer? Yeah, that was an impromptu fire dancer at First Friday many, many years ago um, <laughs> that is forever enshrined in my friend uh, Joe Graziano's photograph there. So we're taking the whole show putting it in on a flatbed truck uh, and we're, we're taking it up to the top of the roof and we're letting people uh, unpack that box and experience it for themselves. It's our first major gala in our 15 year history. It is almost exactly our birthday uh, and um, who would have guessed 15, 15 years and the neighborhood has uh, changed I think from probably one of the most dangerous or feared neighborhoods in Hawaii to one of Hawaii's favorites. So we've seen the power of the arts get people reinvested in the area, all these creative businesses moving in. And, so many, right? so many. So it's been very successful and I think we need to celebrate that, take a moment, have a great night together, enjoy uh, community, meet new friends and um, uh, get ready for the next uh, 15 years. We're going to have a major, <laughs> major uh, renovation in Jan uh, Jul uh, January. Sorry, and uh, revamp our our space. So uh, we'll be retooled by Group 70 International. Oh my! Uh, yes. Yeah, so um, how different will that be? Radically different. Oh, can yeah. you? They gave us two hand? choices. We could do a handsome upgrade, remodel, or we could do radical, transformative destruction at its base remodel and we chose that one and they said good well <laughs> then we'll do it for free thank you yeah so wow yeah very nice yeah um will it change the kinds of things that will be happening at mark's garage it'll um 
double our performance space, we'll be much more viable as a music venue for small scale concerts, uh, intimate concerts, and we'll when also... When you say small scale, can you throw a number at that? I think, you know, we're, get, we're gonna get into the two and three hundred range. Nice. Instead of 120 yeah. seated, we can just, we can put the seats away and have two or three hundred standing, more uh, traditional uh, nightclub capacity. We're gonna get rid of the offices and the cubicles. We've got um, 1987 um, office cubicles uh, that we need to take outside and burn. <laughs> so we're gonna no, we're gonna take them to Reuse Hawaii, <laughs> please. Actually, we're partnering with Reuse. They're donating a lot of new, um, these rolling office cabinets that we're going to retrofit with casters. So it'll be very, you know, very portable and mobile, and you'll be able to plug in and fold a desk down and do your your laptop, but, but you can put it all away at the end of the day, lock it up, your things are safe. We're gonna get rid of the old offices and add another bathroom and some more catering um, capacity in the back. So it's gonna be a much more um, robust, modern design and a much more modern workspace as well, co-working space. So if somebody wants to get involved on that level, are you, are you looking at that right now or are you kind of waiting? Yeah, we're we're definitely interested in having um, uh, new new partnerships uh, form out of this. We're we're um, <clears throat> really excited about friends of the library joining us with a, a eighty foot wall of books in the back of the space instead of wow. the offices. Wow! Wow! Um, so you can come there and browse through. They have half inventory of half a million books, um, and I think there's a, a dearth of places to to browse for books. So real books. Real books. Yeah. Real books are real books. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to turn oh, it on. That's um, and Saves power. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, there's no more bookstores. Right. So then the next question is, books, then you need coffee. Yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to find a, a very brave co coffee entrepreneur that wants to stake a claim at the Arts at Mark's Garage. We're very open to that as well. Right. Mm. In, the, in the last minute or so, mm. um, let's just go over the basics. Mm -hmm. um, so it's next Saturday. November 19th, mm -hmm. and the best place to find information about the rooftop party that's going to include everything from roller derbies to um, live art is? Mm -hmm. uh, artsatmarks.com. Super easy. Artsatmarks.com. Front, front of our page, click on it, and, and it'll take you to uh, our Eventbrite page. It has all the details. 6 to 10 p.m., um, all the food and drink and entertainment you're going to want for the next month or so. Oh, so, awesome. Right? It's going to be fun. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot for having I'll me. I'll see you then. Thanks.